Today, Aaron's driving us to the Maritime Academy to see Andrew Hazel, my nephew, graduate, and he's giving the commencement speech. <laughs> Kristen just got engaged, so I got to meet her family. Ever since Andrew was a small boy, he kind of created his own community all around him. So I'm really excited to hear what he's going to say in his speech. And then Andrew Hazel, a Marine Transportation major, now will speak on behalf of the cadets, uh, class of 2013. Cadet Hazel, please come to the podium. Oh, hi everybody. My name is Andrew Hazel. of the class of 2013, I would like to say welcome to faculty and staff, friends and family, and of course, our distinguished alumni uh, for coming back on this day. Thank you. As I stand before you today, I have been given the task to say something profound. Webster defines profound as having intellectual depth and insight. But seeing as how I just started my speech in the most cliche way possible, it's pretty easy to assume I won't be all that profound. <laughs> but, but that's all right, that's all right. The truly profound moments are the ones which have already come, and it is these moments which have prepared us for the milestones of the future. At some point, I decided to get up and film from back behind the podium so Andrew could see what it would look like, and also so that his mom could see since she wasn't gonna be there. Although I was well behind the stage, the Vallejo Police Department threatened to arrest me for filming there, so I sat down. We take, and that of the 18th century captain. When that captain is come there time, so if the captain doesn't go out enough drug, it'll be straight to Davy Jones' locker with him. <laughs> We're as ready as we'll ever be to succeed and pass the great milestone to the future. That milestone in a few moments, hopefully a very few moments, when we finally get our degree. The milestone in a few months when we'll all be employed, hopefully. I'm still available. <laughs> ready for that moment in a few years when we finally get that great promotion, and we'll be ready for that moment in three, four, maybe five decades from now when we can finally pay off these student loans. <laughs> okay, most of you are sitting on the cusp of that future. Either way, it's clear that if we're going to get anywhere, it's just about time to walk. Thank you, Andrew. Let's give him another round. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> I bet it made the Hazel family sit up a little taller. Yeah. Woohoo! Oops, sorry. <laughs>、tell me what you think of his speech.、Uh, it was really funny and creative and well planned and hit the soft spot a lot of people. You know? Yeah. It was good. It was really good. So we topped off the day by Aaron driving me over to see historic Mare Island where they built a lot of the ships for World War II. Here too. So they brought in all the old diesel subs. And Gave him the nuclear stuff.、Oh. This is it.
mean, back there, they use the same areas used to build stuff, but it's not a shipbuilding area anymore. They don't build ships anymore.